Okay, I thought I'd make a little quick video here for all of us that have the J72 auto brake. Uh, in particular, especially on my, my W24, my workhorse W24 chassis. And uh, I had a failure the other day. I've since fixed it, but I thought I'd make a, um, a video showing. Uh, I'm going to duplicate the failure for you. So here's what happened. Uh, the RV had been sitting for a while. So I'll have to start it up. Okay. And of course, you know, we got an auto brake, which is normally on, I guess, maybe while we still got it in park. And I went, went to take it out of gear. And I noticed I didn't hear the distinctive whine. If you listen closely, you'll no normally hear that sound, <laughs> which that's the hydraulic pump applying 1500 PSI to release the auto brake and so I knew something was amiss of course so I'm revving it up because you see here I'm in drive I'm revving it up but I'm not moving I'm stuck there's the inside of my garage door not going anywhere I thought well that's no good so I put it back in park and did some troubleshooting and I'll show you what I found. Okay, we're out front now at the fuse box. And of course when it first happened I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if maybe the pump down here had failed or something to do with the, com the computer components that control the pump. Uh, in my situation, of course to test the pump you could always jump it with a, you know, a good source of a 12 volt in the ground to see if you could activate the pump. Uh, but in my situation, it turned out to be a relay that it went bad. And you gotta think about my, mine's uh, 2005, so it's about 18 years old. And these relays have went through a lot of cycles. And I, I do have already in my arsenal of spare parts, uh, extra relays here, these 3604, 3604 is pretty common because it covers your ignition and other components. In fact, it's a little sidebar here, but one day I went to start the RV and I had a no start condition, turned the key and all the lights and everything was fine on the dashboard. It's just the starter would not engage. In that situation, it was this relay. This relay controls the starter solenoid. So in that case, I was able to just swap it with one of these other ones. What was it here? What, what, what are they? There's three of them. It does the same thing. Yeah, you got one controls your air conditioning compressor. One's a starter relay. One's a, the um, auxiliary fan. So that's what it was. Actually, this was the bad one. So I just it was winter time anyway. So I took the, the relay from the air air conditioning compressor, swapped it for the ignition switch. The, the RV started, and I went on my merry way. Uh, but then I got me a spare. I keep that uh, with me. But now, <clears throat> up here on top, and you'll notice this little box labels everything for you. Tells us what's what. Um, now, one may be kind of cryptic to you. If I can get it here in the light. You see the little arrow? And it says BTS1. What the heck is a BTS1? Well, I have to, I looked it up and I wrote it down in here. That is your brake transmission shift interlock. That's the relay that controls the mechanism that uh, releases the um, the lock mechanism on your uh, the gear shift. I believe that's what that is. So uh, I'll try to label everything so I know what's what. So anyway, back to my J72 problem. I couldn't drive off, couldn't go nowhere. Turned out the problem was this particular relay. But if you notice your box here, it doesn't let you. Don't, it doesn't tell you what's what. So I've since labeled everything. So this is ABS, ABS. That's ignition relay. This is the. Well, actually, here's my. Old, here's my old one here. Auto brake. So I've since replaced it. That's a, my new relay, and I'm going to take a magic marker and write on there auto brake. So at the time to get me moving, I just swapped the ABS with the J72 relay and that got me going. And also, we, in, in, in testing, after I got it, got that swapped, I was driving around, it was fine. 
and in playing around with it, I, I took the old one apart. There's the old one. It looks just fine, and I plugged it up now, and now it does work. So it could just been a little corrosion, just got stuck. That might be another thing you could possibly try if you have a situation. Just maybe take a screwdriver handle and tap on these things and uh, see if that uh, the jarring might, might be enough to get it to operate. Possibility. But if you got one of these RVs, I think it would be wise to go ahead and pick you up a couple of spare relays, get you this uh, 3604 and get this one here. There's that number, 120. It's upside down. Let me get you one that's right side. I went ahead and bought me two. Bought me two on Amazon. I think they was like some places, man, they can be expensive, like fifty dollars a piece. So I found two the the OEM relays for like two of them for twenty six bucks. But there's the part number to order. Because these uh you just order one spare and that'll cover your J seventy two, your ignition and your ABS relays. So that'd probably be a wise thing to do. So alright, so of course, I unplugged it here momentarily to show you the symptom I had because nothing was happening. So now that's the new one. Plug it back up. And then we'll show you how it's supposed to operate. Okay, back inside the RV. Let's show you how she's supposed to operate. You'll hear that, you'll hear that distinctive sound. I think you will anyway. Now, did it pick that up? Hopefully, hopefully it did. Here. Okay, of course now the RV does move. So, in case you go to try to drive away and you can't, don't panic. Check your relays. Of course, now there's always a possibility it could be something else. You know, we got the hydraulic pump. You got that little computer that sits underneath of the pump. It could freak out. So there's, you know, at some point in time in the future, I'd, once uh, I'd, I'd like to sit down and make a full video troubleshooting the whole system. But, uh, you know, that may come in the future. But at least now, if you have that situation, jump out there and tap your relay, swap a relay. Maybe that'll get you back on the road. No fun being broke down. But thanks for watching. Have a great day.